Today I have five dev hacks that you need to know. Now all of these dev hacks are questions that I've gotten on Discord, in YouTube comments, or in the live chat from streams. Now the first one today is definitely the worst one today. But people ask, so here it goes. If your neon part is too bright, you can adjust the luminance down or just adjust the transparency and it'll make the brightness of the neon go down. I thought this one was pretty obvious, but a lot of people seem to ask, so might as well mention it. Next up might be the most asked question in literally any dev live stream I do. And that question is, how are you selecting individual parts in a model? Uh, this one, this one's pretty nice, guys. When I learned it, I thought I was a god. Anyways, if you hold alt, you can click on parts inside of a model. A lot of you guys might know this one, but since I get asked so many times, I thought it would be worth it to put it in the video. Now it's time for some real game changers, some real dev tips, some life savers. Some that you might not know. Guys, the Roblox autosave folder is an absolute lifesaver. And even I still forget about this one. Let's say you're building for three days and never turned off your PC. And then Roblox updates studio and kicks you out, but your build didn't save. Maybe you didn't have it published. Who knows what the reason is, but... You're so sad and you want to cry. Guys, Roblox autosave is where you need to check first before you start rebuilding this whole project. Honestly, without it, I would have lost so many days of work. Anyways, all you do is hop into studio, go to file, advanced, and then open autosaves. Then just look for the most recent autosave and hopefully it's your lost build. If you haven't lost any builds, this is still a really fun thing to hop into. Find the oldest project in that folder and open it up and see what you were doing at the time. I've definitely gotten a few laps for mine. This next dev hack is hot off the press, guys. Roblox just released a plugin for Blender. That's right. You can now update Roblox models and Blender. Let's say you make a tree, all right? I feel like I'm about to say Blender so many times. Let's say you make a tree in Blender and then you import it to Roblox. Awesome, you made a tree, but oh no, you get in Roblox and there is like a flipped face or something. There's an invisible part. Maybe you forgot to fill a face. Maybe one vertice is way off, who knows? But whatever it is, if there's an issue, you can update that model in Blender, click one button and it'll automatically update that model in Studio. If you wanna add a texture to it, if you wanna fix shading errors or any errors at all, if you wanna change the mesh, you just do it and then click one button and boom, it'll change all of them. Let's say you already placed 300 trees on a massive map and then you see the error. You can just hop into Blender, fix the error, click upload and every single one of those trees will be updated to the new mesh. That one, oh, so sick. Now, the last tip I have for you guys today is the material manager. Every time I open my material manager in a video, there's at least five comments saying row builder or row. How did you get that many materials? Did you have to do it manually? Guys, no. If I, oh my gosh, I have hundreds and hundreds of materials. Imagine doing that manually. Every single map for every material. Man, it would suck. Luckily, some other people did that for us. If you go into the toolbox and type in material packs, there's sets and sets and sets of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, guys so many materials that you can get with one click of a button and use them in your projects to make your builds stand out be more realistic be more cartoony literally anything you could want there's a material pack for it so hop into the toolbox type in material pack and just get all of them because it's not gonna lag your game to have them in studio so the more packs the more options the better your build now i know it's a short video for today but hopefully one of these tips or hacks help you if you're a developer and you have any dev hacks Make sure to leave them in the comments below for everyone else so we can all grow and get better together. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.